What a day, man. Uh, I've been looking for the Freerford Dome meteorite site. I couldn't even find that. And I got lost on some really interesting roads out here. Ah, oh, shit. I got it. I saw a Vifita into Sunflower Mona. We get you right. I'm heading out to what's known as the Freireford Dome. I'm in Freireford itself. Apparently, it's 7.8 kilometers from here, which is the main road running through the town of Freireford. town of Fredefort. Uh, it's probably more of a, an agricultural town than anything else. About 20 kilometers from Paris is Fredefort. And right now I'm heading out to the Fredefort Dome. I've always wanted to go and have a look at that. So this is the road towards it. Goodness me. So here's a lesson in navigation. GPS says I'm at Fredford Dome. I was in the town of Fredford when the GPS said it's seven kilometers or eight kilometers away. It took me in completely the opposite direction. So here I am in the blue, and now I'm actually 24 kilometers away from the actual Fredford Dome. So I'm gonna have to backtrack back to the town and then. I'm gonna have to take this road over here, which I, I think I know what it is. Senves, uh, that's the silo, so that's a good landmark. I need to pass that. And at some point I'm gonna turn left and continue towards Frida Ford Dome. I'm assuming there should be some signage around this area. Wow, lesson in navigation, people. Don't trust Garmin all the time. Sometimes it's right, not all the time. Right, so I'm not seeing uh, any kind of signage that says Fredford Dome, but I believe... So here's the silo that I was talking about earlier, the landmark. So I should just have to continue straight on this road for some time. Eventually turning left somewhere, up ahead, so let's see where it takes us. My intention is to make a small stop in Paris, maybe have a tea and cake. There's a beautiful coffee shop that I once visited and it would be nice to go back there. I'm not feeling like having an entire meal. Although the cakes are pretty generous out there. bit of a gravel highway nice to ride sitting down like the occasional stand that you have to do so I'm assuming we're potentially going to turn left on this gravel road coming up at the next intersection, shall I rather say. Alright, so according to Google Maps, here's the intersection that I'm at. Um, I think I've, well, I've come from the Fred Fort side, which is on this road here. I'm at the intersection, so I need to turn left and then just proceed straight all the way to Fred Fort Dome. We just turned left. Ah, oh, shit. 
so damn easy to wash out the front wheel. Uh, on the soft stu stuff we have over here. <laughs> uh, I think I'm supposed to go this way. Oh, this is rough, man. Ooh. Let's keep it going, man. So I'm on what seems to be a real agricultural road used by a few farmers. Totally unexpected, this route. I made a last minute decision that I would want to come out and see this uh, Frida Foot Dome, the meteorite. And certainly wasn't expecting these kind of roads going there. <laughs> but it's all about the adventure, right? That's what it's about. This looks like it was a mud bath <laughs> not too long ago. have been trying to clearly sort out uh, some muddy crossings there If this is the T-junction I was thinking of. I think I'm going to pull up to those trees up front and do another Google verification. This Freda Ford Dome is proving to be very elusive to me on this particular day. Lovely sunflower on the right and corn on the left. Oh wow, I think I've just stopped in a place that has bees, beekeeping. Look at that, one, two, three, three beehives maybe that I can see, there could be more. All right, interesting situation. Google says I need to turn right over here. But this evidently looks like somebody's land. And as you can see, it says no unauthorized entry. Very interesting. Look at that. There's a whole lot of beekeeping going on in this area. I guess they pollinate the sunflowers and stuff. It might be a very important ingredient to the process. And so, yeah, I see a number of uh, beekeeping beehives over here. Plus the ones we saw under the trees over there, that side. Well, I think I've uh, successfully <laughs> navigated to Paris on this other alternative route. I can confidently say I've never come or arrived in Paris using <laughs> this direction. I need to get into town. Now, Paris is one of those uh, weekend towns. It's very lively on the weekends. Lots of tourists coming out here for the drive. It's about an hour away from Johannesburg. 
and uh, it has a lot of lovely quaint little restaurants and coffee shops and art galleries and antique stores as you can see people are out enjoying themselves so I thought I was pretty crazy or stupid or something looking for this uh, three or four dome the actual meteorite that struck in uh, this area turns out there is no actual meteorite it disintegrated but it created a huge dome that spans hundreds of kilometers I got lost had a good adventure rode some crazy roads it's actually on private property so I was right at some point where I saw the sunflower field and it said no unauthorized entry the rewarding thing is I'm having a lovely cake and a red cappuccino I don't get out here very often so it's a nice little treat <laughs>